So all what you try to say is that even though in Africa, poverty thing that you are facing, aside that all, you can see it that inside their heart, they are happy, they are happy. and rich. Yeah, that, that time I realized money cannot buy happiness. Oh, you know, that was the first time you the, realized that, that yeah. money cannot buy happiness. Yeah, my body is back in Germany, but my heart is in Africa. <laughs> Disclaimer. 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 Welcome on DJ Bleed TV. Thank you very much for your time. It's all about Africans living abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, today my special guest with me. You see her as a white woman, but I don't see her as a white woman. I see her as an African woman. So ladies and gentlemen, come with me as a drive together with her. We have a nice conversation. If you enjoy the conversation, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. After you subscribe, make sure you click on the notification bell there so that anytime that DJB TV uploads, you will be the first to receive a notification. Thank you very much for taking your time. Come with me, or let's say, drive with me. <laughs> well, welcome. On DJ V T V. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself? I'm good. Every time I call you African woman, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I call that's you true. African woman the boss. The <laughs> boss, the boss. Why the boss? Why the boss? Yeah. Yeah, because I do many things for myself. I'm a very strong oh. person <laughs> and I see many things. Yeah. In my life and because of traveling experience and Oh, okay. It's many years ago, I was a really small girl. That's ah, my okay. first, first time. I, yeah. I was dating a Kenyan boy and... Yeah, be yeah. Before we go into that, now yeah. you've said the reason why you call yourself the boss is you do things for yourself, you know? Everything I do you for do myself. You do everything for yourself. I pay everything for myself. <laughs> I, I don't need man for myself. Oh, <laughs> like, really? I, like not for money or something like yeah. that. I don't need a man, you know, it, only for love, <laughs> but wow. not for money. So talking about so, you don't need any man to do things for you. It's like, is this something like you were, you, you, like you were educated from kindergarten? Or like from, from home or from my parents? No, no, because my, my mother, she grow up like my father do everything. She, my mother not even have a license, you know. Ah, me, okay. Me, maybe that's why I am that kind of strong. Because me, myself, I say, no, I don't want to stay on a farm because oh. I grew up on a farm. Ah, okay. And I don't want to stay home like my mother did. Oh, I want okay. to see life. I want to see the world. And I want to do everything on my own steps. Ah. I don't want someone who control me like where I have to go or when I have to be there. And I don't want to ask someone if I want to travel or if I want to go party or, you know. Ah, okay, okay, so I understand. <laughs> I, really, I really start thinking, okay, no, I don't want to marry a farmer like, like all my friends did. They, they marry a farmer. I say, ah. no, that's not my lifestyle. I don't want to sit seven days a week at work. You know, I don't want that. You don't want to marry a farmer? No, I don't want to marry but, a farmer. But for, but, but for us in Africa, people that we came here, we see it to be like, uh, the farmers are the richest people in Europe. Is it not true? Yeah, somehow it's like that. Yeah, my parents had a lot of money. But why don't you want to marry a rich man? Because of the lifestyle, I don't want it. I don't want to take it. When you talk like, about when you talk about the lifestyle, does not mean that the lifestyle is boring for you or what? Hundred percent boring. Hundred <laughs> percent boring. <laughs> really? Yeah, I swear, really, really boring because you're home. You just you don't see nothing. You don't see people. You cannot talk to no one. Like maybe your neighbors only. That's it because you're busy with your work, oh. with your animals. You feed them, ah. or the field. Like you don't have something to do. Different things to do. Oh, I see. You know, so... I, so, talking about that, that means you are 100% German, right? 100% German. I'm born in German. My my parents, they are 100% German. And oh, really? Yeah, 100%. Wow. Really, really farmer girl, you know, really village girl I am. Maybe I don't look like a village girl, but <laughs> I'm 100% village girl. I'm not from the city even. Oh, okay. We are a really small, small village. Only farmers where I grew up. Only oh, I farmers. See. <laughs> What's the name behind boss? Behind the boss, what is the real name that your parents give to you that everybody knows you by? Also, my, my name is Ola. Everyone call me Ola. Ola? Ola. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 
that's what everybody calls you. Yeah, everyone. Oh, Ola. Everyone calls me like that, yeah. Ah, okay. It's a nickname. It's a nickname. It's a nickname. Ola is a nickname. So it's what's my, the real name? Uh, Ulrike. Ulrike. Ulrike is my own name. Yeah, it's really old German name. <laughs> ah, okay. And everyone calls me Ola because more easy for everyone to pronounce the name. Ah, so you think it's not shot. easy, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's really not easy to say that. Yeah, name. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Wow. Nice one. Well, Ola, welcome again on DJ Bleed TV. Thank you. Really nice for your invitation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thing. Thank you very much once again. Well, mm -hmm. Ola, um, for you, like I always say, even though you were a German, but I don't see you as a German. I see the African woman thing in you, you know? That's nice um, to hear. <laughs> yeah. At what age that you fell in love with Africa? My... First boyfriend was an African guy. He's oh. um, from Kenya at the time. Ah, but at that okay. time, I'm a really small girl. Like, I'm 16 years. <laughs> I oh, start dating a uh, Kenyan boy, you know? 16 years? 16 years, yeah. Wow. Then there was a couple of years we was together. And then he told me, yeah, let's come. We go to my country. I want to visit my, my family and I want to take you. I was really nervous and I, I was scared. Years. Yeah, no, yeah, like 60, 17 years, I go the first time to, to Africa. Oh, I was scared and because me, I know Africa only from German TV, you know, and OK, what was, and what, was, how, what was your expectation then? My expectation, to be honest, is like really, really poor country, like no houses. <laughs> Okay, so what because the Germans were showing on the, the TV problem, like we sleep on the tree. Yeah, I swear to God. The problem is in Germany, they show the most thing about Africa. The people that are really, really poor, they live like sleeping in the bush, in the without anything. That's how they show the people in Africa. Okay. It's really sad for me because now of my experience now and before, it's big, big different. You know that's why everyone I give the advice to travel to Africa to see the the truth how Africa is because it's not only poor people like they show on the TV. You know. Oh. Wow, nice. I, yeah, I see some stuff there. Yeah. That time I we go to the plane, mm -hmm. I'm scared and excited to the same time. Okay. And then we go outside. The first thing I the big difference I see there are people that are really, really friendly. Okay. How let's take they it. greet me. Okay, let's take it from the the first time. Yeah, you the arrive. first is like mm -hmm. my body wants to fall down because of the hot, hot yeah, weather. The weather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, we are not used to that here. Yeah. It's really hot and the air is like, I feel like I cannot breathe. Oh. I have to sit down first. <laughs> really? I, I have to sit down first to get myself. My boyfriend that time, he bring me some water. Oh. <laughs> because uh, my body cannot take the heat for the ah, first, the first heat. time. Yeah. yeah. And after that, I come to back to myself. <laughs> yeah, I see the people, they're really, really friendly. Many people asking, everything fine with you? Are you okay? really friendly and because in germany how i see even my own people mm -hmm. they're really cold they're not really friendly ah, okay. how i see the german people for mm. myself they're cold if you ask someone to help you they don't they look at you and pass me i'm not like that not like them that's how i see the african people they're really friendly okay you see the african people are really open and friendly. open warm oh okay Without, without any problem, they talk to you. Okay. Like me, me, I also talk. I don't have problem to talk to people. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's what the first thing I really see the big difference if that I learned. It's really nice to okay. see the, the really friendly people. Everyone is greeting you. Yeah. Everyone, you don't know them, but they're greeting you. It's really, really sweet how I see it. You know. Okay. And that time we go home to the countryside. Mm -hmm. The family, everyone hugged me like they know me ten years. <laughs> you know, and it's so, so sweet. Here, even your own family cannot greet you, Oh, you know. But in Africa, they greet you like you are the family already. Like they know you 10 years, like oh. you are wife or the daughter or mm. the sister. That's how they treat you. And, and I really appreciate it. And that's what make me also fall in love with Africa and with oh. African people. With I feel like it's my home. It's, your home. <laughs> it's my home. Wow. I, I left my heart there. That time I go there, I left my heart there. Okay. My body is back in Germany, but my heart is in Africa. <laughs> so Really? Yeah. Okay, take us through. Now you've landed in Kenya. Yeah. And uh, your your then boyfriend took you to his house. Yeah. Yeah, they're really really heart heartful, you know, like they have a big heart, the family. They greet me, hug me, mm -hmm. they want to serve me straight food and drinks. 
And every time you walk around, they say hi, hello. Even 10 times a day you pass there, you will say hello again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they say hello again, 10 <laughs> times a day. And I even asked my boyfriend, how is that normal? I, I, I'm like confused because in Germany they will never do that. They will maybe greet you once if you're lucky, <laughs> if they greet you once, you know? And after they don't know you again. So, okay. <laughs> but Africa is different, yeah. They oh. greet you 10,000 times, even if they see you in one hour 10,000 times. Oh, okay. That's how I, I get the experience. The experience. I don't, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Wow. Nice one. So that means that so the experience, the thing that you see that really got you confused a lot of places, the greeting was too much. Like everybody that will see you. Did, yeah. Did you, didn't you see it that because you were a foreigner or like you're white, that's why like yeah. everybody is loved? Yeah. First, I thought that because of my color, because where I went, I don't see no one else who's mm -hmm. my color, who's white. I see only dark people. And um, first I thought, yeah, okay, maybe that's why they're greeting me like that. But um, after I see, no, they greet the other people too. Okay. They say hi. They say. Then you notice that it's like that. Yeah, it's that's normal. They, yeah, it's that's normal how they are, they're, they're how they are yeah. greeting. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just, a, I think, a kind of respect to greet you always if they see you. Yeah, they see you all the time. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. All right. So now, take us through. You've landed, you in, You are in Kenya. What did you learn, you know, what did you experience there in Kenya? Yeah. The like most... what you did in Kenya? Yeah, I just, we just see the country. Then I go, we go, I said, I want to see every side, not only the rich side. I don't mm -hmm. want to see the big houses, the big cars. Okay. And yeah, they have many nice areas there. Like mm -hmm. I said, in TV, in German TV, they just show the poor side, okay. which is not true. You okay. know, yeah. me, I see it with my own eyes. Uh -huh. It's not true. Yeah. There are also big, big houses, even more nice than, more nicer than here. Okay. How I see it, you okay. know. Um, even the airport is really nice. How I see it. Mm -hmm. And the streets, yeah, some is nice, some is a bit complicated, but it depends where you are driving. Okay. And I, but I told my boyfriend I want to see the other side too. If the, here is the side what they show us in the oh, TV, okay. I want to see it. Okay. So we decide I pack some stuff like clothes for kids, some sweets, small, small things. So we decide we go to the really forest side, the village side. The village side, okay. Because I told him I want to see it. He said, are you sure you want to see it? Yeah, I said, I want to see it. Because I'm not just here to see your family. I want to see everything if I come to Africa. Yeah, that's true. We drive like more than one hour. Like in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. we are stopping the car because the car cannot even go because of the street. There is no street again, like the car cannot not go again. Wow. So the rest way we go with food, mm -hmm. we are walking there. And then we reach to some like small, small build, mm -hmm. not like even houses, but uh, self-made with hand, you know, okay. like small, small, small couples with houses. Yeah. Like a small, small village. Mm -hmm. Then you see already some Many kids, they are running, they see me. <laughs> they are shouting, uh, I will never forget this, they are shouting Muzungu, Muzungu. Muzungu. Muzungu, it means like some white ghost or white person. Ah, they are really okay. scared because they don't have TV oh, where really? I was. They don't have light. They don't have water. They have to go for everything. They have to go to take water. They have to go to find something. Oh. So the kids, they were really scared to see me because they never see a white person in real. Ah. And not even in the TV. Oh, I see. Even my boyfriend was somehow scared to take me there because you never know what is going to be happen because if the people never see it in real life, ah. you know. Were you scared? No, uh, to be honest, I wasn't scared. I feel like that's the right thing what you do right now. I go with him in the village and then the, the kids, they are there. He's talking to them, to the kids and to the grown people because me, I speak only English. Some of them, they're not even speaking English. Oh, okay only the country language, you know, ah. and yeah, so he explained, hit them, I was there, I want to see the lifestyle here mm -hmm. and I bring some stuff for the kids. So I bring some clothes, some sweets and then the kids come down. They're not so much scared. I remember okay. even one boy, uh, he come really close to me. His name was Ahmed. I will never forget okay. this, this experience you will never forget in your life. Yeah. <laughs> He touched my hand mm -hmm. like he wants to see if I'm real or if I was a ghost or something like that oh. because of my color. 
Ashi. you know? <laughs> it's really it's really sweet, you know, to see oh. that. So then he stopped to be scared because he could touch me. I'm there, you know, I'm really there. He never we was there like two or three hours in that place. Mm -hmm. He sit on my side and he never left. He's just quiet. He put his head on my shoulder and he just sit there with peace and don't talk, nothing. Even the parents call him, but he don't want to leave my side. Ah, you know? he, he feel peace by I think side, he really you know? feel comfortable. comfortable, I think yeah. so, yeah. That was the biggest experience for yeah. me in oh. my whole life, you know? Oh, okay. Even that people, they are so happy, more happy than some people in Germany. They have everything here, they have car, they have house, they have light, they mm -hmm. have water without asking. And even that people, Maybe for me or for some German, they look poor, but they are in the heart, they are not poor. They are happy. If you see the eyes, if you see the face, if mm -hmm. you see the smile, they are happy with what they have. Okay. They have each other. They have healthy. That's the only thing what they need to be happy. To, oh, I see. And here in Europe or Germany, some people, they have everything and everything is not enough to be happy. So all what you try to say is that even though in Africa, poverty thing that you are facing, aside that all, you can see it that inside their heart, they are happy, they are happy. and rich. Yeah, that, that time I realized money cannot buy happiness. Oh, you know, that was the first time you the, realized that, that yeah. money cannot buy happiness. Yeah, whatever you have in your life, if you have a big, big car, the expensive car, what you can buy, or the biggest house you can buy, this thing is not is not that what makes you happy, Ooh, you know, wow. because you can have everything. And if you are not happy in Inside, your heart, yeah. in your soul, if you don't find the peace in your soul, mm -hmm. you can have everything in the world, but you are not happy. You will not be happy. Yeah. Wow. That's that's I realized that time with this young age, the time I'm not an old woman like now, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, not. that you time I'm really small. It. Yeah. OK. So um, I'm. Thank God that he bring me there to get that experience. Oh. Because that's why my life, I think that I'm kind of really strong woman, how I see myself too. Oh. I'm a really strong woman. I do a lot of business for myself, for my kids. Okay. And I'm really grateful for that, that I, that God bring me there to see this. To see oh, what is going on in the other side. In the world, in the world. In the and, world. And, and don't believe everything what they show you in the TV. On the TV. Till today. Wow. You know, nice one. So for how long you been with uh, the Kenya guy? Yeah, how with long? that guy, I was some years. But after we break up, because I want to bring a family, I want to have kids, but he don't want, he, look, he don't look for that. Oh, OK. So I decide I have to move on because he don't want to have kids. And Before we go into that, how yeah. long did you live uh, or stay in Kenya? That time I stay like one month. One month? One month. I, I, okay? I'm strong minded. So if I want something, I do it, you okay. know? <laughs> okay. So, okay. All right. So you stayed in Kenya for one good month. Yeah. Like and now you month. decided to come back. Yeah. Then you we come back, back home. You. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I was what? really, really sad, to be honest. I even cry. Really? I cry. I don't want to go home. <laughs> I even tell my boyfriend, cannot stay here. You go alone. You go to Germany. Me, I'm going to stay here with your family. <laughs> Oh, really? I swear to God. <laughs> That's why I said my my I left my heart in Africa. Oh. Till today my heart is in Africa, you know? Till I, today. Till your today heart my is heart is there. Africa. Yeah. My body is here, my work is here, but my heart, your heart is, is in, in Africa. Africa. I swear. Wow. I really cry, I don't want to go home. I don't want to go back to Germany. Wow. Because I don't know when is the next time I will visit Africa. I don't know that. When is the next time I will see the people again? The people. Or if I see them again, yeah. you will never know what is next. What is, yeah. So, and my heart is there. I really feel comfortable. Oh. Really feel comfortable with the people, with the, how they're behaving, yeah. how friendly they are, how mm. the movement, everything. You will really free there, you know? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so now let's come back to um, you and your guy, your ex guy. You were together for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Then now you, some years. things didn't work out, then you break up. You okay? Yeah. Then All I right. moved on. Yeah. You move on. Okay. All right. So now you are back in Germany, and you are living your life in Germany, and uh, you got to notice that ever since you visited to Africa, you left your heart there. But yeah. nobody is here. Is that why you are always into Africans? Yeah, I have friends from Africa. I have always contact with African people. Yeah. 
I, n I don't lose that. Mm -hmm. And this is why I think that's why my heart is there. My mind is, my one half brain is always there, you it's know? always in Africa. One half brain is rocking here. Okay. <laughs> I manage everything here. Yeah. And the other side always lead me to Africa. Okay. Always. All right. So, you yourself i got to know you through your ex-boyfriend who was a ghanaian yes right yes. okay so what made you decide okay i don't want to date another kenya again but i want to date another african or oh, what, what happened how come before you came across a ghanaian boyfriend and not kenya again to be honest, that time, I don't know how someone look, if it's from Kenya or Ghana or from a ah, different okay. country. I don't know how the guys look the different. I don't know that time, you know? Okay. So the time I meet that guy, he's, he say he's from Ghana. Okay. It's nice because as a, me, I don't never plan to date a German person. They're not for me. <laughs> oh, I, so you never did German me. before? I never did any German person before. Wow. Maybe God born me in the wrong country. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You I was so? yeah, I was never interested to date a white man. Never. Even oh. school time or after school. Some was some guys was interested in me, some white guys. But me, I was never interested in them. I never date any white. So after Oh I see. I start dating a guy from Ghana. Uh -huh. First we are like friends mm -hmm. and then we start dating. Yeah, so then what, what, what was the difference between uh, the, uh, Kenyan and a Ghanaian. The different? Yeah. Apart from the color, the skin color is black. Yeah. What was the difference? Yeah, but even the, the one Ghana guy is even more black than the one from Kenya. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> even there's some difference now. Okay. You know, so um, the difference is, I guess it's not so big different, but even that Ghana guy is not so jealous. Okay. He was not so jealous like the Kenya boy. Oh, the Kenya boy was, was too really, jealous. really jealous. Like he don't want to go let me go out or something like that, oh. you know, alone. Oh. Uh, and I think the Ghana guy, he was more peaceful, you know. He was peaceful. He was okay. more peaceful. Mm -hmm. He don't have much problem. Or if you say, yeah, I want to go out and he's, he, he would say, yeah, have fun. Take care about have fun, you know. Uh -huh. But and the Kenya guy, he was really jealous. He don't want to let me do anything okay. without without asking him. Okay. And even if I was asking him, he still say no. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but the Ghana guy, he was really simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we start dating. And we even get married. Oh, you get married get with the married. Ghana guy? Yeah, we get married. Oh, let's tell us more. Tell us and more. And then, yeah, we make a small wedding in Germany here. Oh, okay. Was this in a German wedding or like... No, it was like a Muslim wedding. Just oh, like he was a Muslim? Mosque. Yeah, he was a Muslim, yeah. Ah! Yeah, it was just a small wedding and then... Okay. Yeah, and then after we just go again to, uh, to Africa. Yeah, you I am back. to Ghana yeah, again. Back again, That's Africa. That's your second time in Yeah, Africa. my second time I go to Africa, back again, yeah. Oh, wow! And even that time, I also cry that time, you know? But for, for happiness to go there to Africa. Yeah. So it's really peaceful, really friendly people, Ghana, also really friendly. I think even a bit more friendly than Kenya. Oh, really? How they say hello and what, how they are talking to me mm -hmm. and this to serve food and drinks. Really friendly, like I feel like a queen there, you know, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Your first time you landed in Ghana, take us through. Yeah, it's like I was excited again, and but more happy than the first time I moved to Af also I traveled to Africa. Okay. Because because I had some experience already, mm -hmm. so I'm not scared. Did you get burned again? No, like? no, no. That time I don't like I don't feel to fall down. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay that You've time. I don't need water. <laughs> I don't need water that time. No. Okay. <laughs> I was fine. Okay. Yeah, but. I swear, the people they are so friendly. This experience you will never get if you come to Europe. Oh. Never. Never. I traveled in Europe also before, but this experience, like if you travel to Africa, mm -hmm. you will never get that experience, how friendly the people are. Oh, okay. Who everyone greets you. If some people come run to you straight, can I help you with the park? Can you help you with this? Can I help you with that? Here you will never see that. Oh. You will never see that. I see. And how you see the people, they just not always do it to get some tip or to get small money. Mm -hmm. No, they just do it. They 
many of them they do it with the heart. With heart they just yeah. want to help you, mm -hmm. you know? That's how I see it okay. different. Disclaimer. 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 Kindly please like, share, and subscribe.